Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be streaming Steam games over the internet on my Raspberry Pi internationally with another YouTuber. So let's get started. Uh, today we have John from Tech Wiz Time. Do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself and your channel, John? My name's John. Um, I run a YouTube channel called Tech Wiz Time and I do tutorials on technology and reviews. Okay, so we, I have my Raspberry Pi all set up with Moonlight. So if you guys want to know how to install Moonlight or want to know what it's about, you could check it out on my blog. I'll leave a description on how to get it all set up. But if you want to know more details or more about Moonlight, check out Tech Wiz Time. He has a video on it. He demonstrates how everything operates locally. I'm going to be the client and he's going to be the server. So John, what does a server need to get this going. Okay, so the server is going to need several ports open and what I'll do is I'll do a screen recording right now and show you all the different ports that need to be opened. Again, this sort of information will be on Don's web post so you can get all the ports from that web post. Um, and is there any particular thing or hardware that we need for this setup? Yep, so the host computer or the server uh, it does require Steam installed and it also requires an NVIDIA graphics card. It needs to be greater than a GTX 650. So if you've got one of the new 1080s, then you're all set. Now, what do I need to do on my end? I have my Raspberry Pi all set up. I already have it installed. What do I need to do as far as connecting to your uh, machine on your end? So one of the first things that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pair Moonlight with the server. Okay. okay. And to do uh, that, what we'll need to do is we'll need to type in Moonlight. All right, Moonlight. Pair. Oh, pair. And then the IP address, or in this case. In this case, it's gonna be TechWiz time because I already grabbed his IP address. So something's happening now and it's giving me a pin number of 1726. Okay, so what I'll do is on my side, I'll type in 1726 and press enter. It's doing something. Oh, successfully paired. Now what's next? Okay, so now what we'll do is we will type in the command on Don's side of Moonlight. All right, I'm ready. Stream. So it's Moonlight stream, right? Yep. Dash okay. 30. Okay. All right, something's happening and it's moving along. I see a graphic card. It's doing a handshake and something came up. Okay, so here I'm going to navigate through the library and we're going to try out fast and light. Um, it's weird about this. It, it actually kicks it into uh, window mode or something. Hmm. Is there any way you could actually um, expand the screen on your end or? All right, so let's see how it works. I'm gonna hit a new game. And I don't remember how to play this game, but you guys, if you've never played this game, it's actually a really fun game. Press spacebar to resume. It is absolutely weird. Like it, it oh, now it worked. Look, I hit spacebar and it worked. Oh. So I'm going to jump. And it's actually pretty responsive. It's actually really responsive for this game. But. I am not gonna... I'm not gonna try to figure this out. All right, so it seems to us that this does work. It does have a little latency and maybe a little bit of a control issue. Maybe I have to set up a controller or something for it, but it does work. And keep in mind, we are doing this internationally. He's 6,000 miles away from me. Australia to New York. Um, that latency is definitely gonna play a toll in this. So John, do you have anything to tell our viewers? Yeah, if you'd like to check out my channel, it's youtube.com slash techwiztime.
And thank you for watching this video and I really hope you liked it. So thanks for watching our video guys. I had a lot of fun making this. I actually enjoyed making this video a lot. And this is my first time collaborating with another YouTuber. So um, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this video, hit it in the comments below. Now, as far as the conclusion of this video, we did have a slight issue with the keyboard. We ran into a little hiccup where at more, more towards the end of the video, uh, the keyboard wasn't operating the way it should I wasn't able to send commands and stuff but it fixed itself later on so we don't know what that was maybe some ghost keyboard thing if you guys can show him my support subscribe to his channel and if you haven't done so subscribe to this channel it also helps me a lot also gives you notification when the next video is going to be out and as I say my nerd cave hack till it hurts what configure does it basically pulls whatever your system has um say like nmap or i mean ncurse 